You are listening to Chinese Mandarin Cafe, Episode Two. Hello and goodbye. 你好 welcome to Chinese Mandarin Cafe, a place where you can sit down and have a cup of coffee or tea. Wait,、uh, no, no, no. I mean, well, you can if you want. A place where we learn Mandarin Chinese in a fun and relaxing way. You can get the lesson notes at ChineseMandarinCafe.com. I'm your host, Amy. Let's grab a cup of tea. I mean, let's get started. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to say hello and goodbye. Hello and welcome to our first official lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to say hello and goodbye. To say hello in Chinese, we say 你好你 means you, and 好 means good. Together as a word, it means hello. Literally, it means you good. 你 by itself is a third term. 好 by itself is also a third term. However, when we put them together, our 你 which is a third term character becomes a second term character. So it sounds like 你好 instead of 你好 Can you hear how the second time I tried to say 你好 incorrectly? It did not flow that easily. However, if I say 你好 it flows really easily. If I say 你好 when I say my first third tone and a full tone, it's not as easy. This tone change happens whenever you have two third tones next to each other. Our 你 is a third tone character. Our 好 is also a third tone character. So when they are next to each other, we change our first character to a second tone. But when we write them as pinging, we still keep the third tone. So this is the case where you see two third tones next to each other, but when you say it, you actually say it as second tone followed by a third tone. 你好 is one of the most common examples. Let's try another word. The word we have is 可以可以 means can, as in you can do something. Or can I can I do something? 可以 When we write this word in its pinyin form, we write third tone and the third tone. But when we say it, we say second tone and the third tone. 可以可以 Another example is 手表手表手表 means watch. When someone says hello to you, hopefully you will say hello back, right? Otherwise, the other person might feel a little bit sad. So when you say or when you hear 你好 you can just say 你好 back. The next word we have is goodbye. Goodbye in Chinese is 再见再 means again. 见 means to see. So literally, this word means again see, as in see you again or see you next time. 再见 Just like our 你好 when someone says goodbye to you, hopefully you will say goodbye as well and not just ignore that person. So when I say 再见 you should also say 再见再见 literally means again see. And the next word we're going to learn means see you next time. In order to say see you next time, we are going to say 再见 to our first character in 再见 So instead of 再 we're going to say 下次下次 Means next time, and since we kept our 见 we're going to put our 见 there. So together we have 下次见下次见 which means next time, see or see you next time. This is probably going to be one of the phrases that I'll be using besides 再见 And the last word we have is see you tomorrow, and tomorrow is 明天明天 Then we're going to attach our 见 to it. So we have 明天见明天见 tomorrow. See or see you tomorrow. Let's practice. If I say 你好 what do you say? You should say 你好 as well. If I say 再见 what do you say? You say 再见 as well. Now it's time to review all the keywords we have learned in this lesson. For this part, I'm going to say the Chinese character once, followed by the translation. 你 you 好 good 你好 hello 再 again 见 see to see 再见 goodbye. 下次 next time. 下次见
See you next time. 明天 tomorrow. 明天见 See you tomorrow. Now it's time to repeat after me. For this part, we are going to repeat each word or phrase three times. After I say the word in Mandarin, I want you to repeat after me, and we're going to do that three times for each word or phrase. 你，你，你，好，好，好，你好，你好，你好，在，在。在，见，见，见，再见，再见，再见，下次，下次，下次，下次见。下次见，下次见。明天，明天，明天，明天见，明天见，明天见。Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Remember, you can get the lesson notes at ChineseMandarinCafe.com. For more learning resources, remember to subscribe to the newsletter at ChineseMandarinCafe.com/newsletter. See you in the next lesson. 再见。